When you drive down virtually any street, you'll see utility poles alongside the road. In fact, they're so common, you probably don't take much notice. But what happens to those poles when they're taken down or replaced? Folks always ask me, what is the lifespan of wood poles? And the, the blanket answer is somewhere between 40 and 50 years. We have them out on our system today that are 40 to 50 years old and they, you know, they've been tested and they still meet, those still pass the strength requirements. Regardless of the reason, not every pole makes it to that half century mark. Poles are replaced for a number of reasons. The, the three biggest reasons that stick out in my head are mother nature. And obviously everybody knows we live in the Midwest. We have a lot of storm damage. It could be straight line winds, could be tornadoes. The other reason is, is just end of life. That's no small number of poles that need to be changed out each year and each and every one undergoes a number of other checks first. Ameren, Illinois has approximately 1.3 million power poles and nearly 9,500 multi-pole structures, and we cover a 43,700 square mile service territory. Every year we replace about 10,000 poles. Right here, this will show the, uh, the inspections that's been done on this pole. It gets a visual every six years, and then it gets a full ground line every every 12 years. So basically what that means is on year six, they go out there and they look at everything from the ground up. They're looking for loose hardware, uh, the pole tops splintered out, all that type of stuff, possibly a, a burn insulator. Um, and then on year 12, we could do the full dig 18 inches down. We look at the wood around there, <clears throat> look for decay. We do a series of measurements and there's a whole algorithm that figures the strength. So what does happen to all those poles once they're removed? Previously, when we put up a new one, we'd bring the old ones back to the yard. They'd be in a pile similar to this. And basically, they would go to the landfill. Um, what we've done is we've partnered with Blackwood Solutions to get them, they, they use the word recycled. I like to use the word repurposed. Just because a pole doesn't meet our strength requirements to put power lines on doesn't mean that there's not other uses for it. Uh, Blackwood, what they do is they try to get with church groups, baseball organizations, park districts. They could be used for parking bumpers. They could be used for fence posts. Like I say, there's a wide variety of stuff that these poles could still be used for just because they don't meet our strength requirements to put power lines on. But why go to the trouble of finding a second life for old utility poles? We just want to be stewards of our environment. We don't want to see the, uh, the landfills get filled up and we feel that that's really doing a good justice to serve our customers, uh, looking out for the future of you know our kids, our grandkids. Um, if we can do our part and everybody can do a little part, it'll all help us out in the future.